Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show this evening. Tonight's guest, we have a returned citizen from incarceration. He's been home a, a while now. And uh, we're going to bring the brother on and allow him to let the community know who he is and, and what his future goals are today. Today we have uh, David Ng on the show today. Welcome to the show, my brother. Uh, nice to be here. Yeah, nice to have you. Welcome, welcome home. Oh, I appreciate it so right. much. It means a lot. Right on. How long have how long you been home, huh? I've been home uh, seven months now. Seven months? Yeah. Okay. Last year of April. Okay. Where did you parole from? I paroled from Soledad. Soledad. Yeah. How long was you in Soledad? About a year. Okay. Okay. So, you, so, so, the, the, how much time did you do actually? I did total, total from the county jail to the I, time you got out. I did uh, twenty-eight years. Twenty-eight to be years. Exact. Okay. And you went to prison for what? What crime? Uh, second degree murder. Okay. And you got to murder out of San Francisco. In San Francisco on Sixth and Market. Okay. Okay. So when you went to prison, I, I take it that you was a young man. I was. I was twenty-two years old. Twenty-two years old. Yeah. 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 Okay, and you went, you went into a system that you had never been in before. Well, I did, you know, um, but I discharged my number. I had a C number okay. in 1984. Okay. I went to prison for burglary. Okay. And came out and did everything right. And that's the amazing thing about it was that I discharged my number. Okay. But when I committed this crime, like a week later, um, I had to ask myself, you know, what went wrong, mm -hmm. you know? How did I get off track? Right. You know, how did I um, was able to discharge my number successfully? Right, right. But um, a week later, then, you know, I committed a murder. Right. You know, right. took another human being's life, right. you know, right. and right. created more victims. Right. Um, with hindsight, with throughout the years, mm -hmm. I laid back and realized that I had a plan. And that plan was to change my way of thinking, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and have a goal okay. and healthy associations and relationships. Right, right. So I was successful in that. Once I reached that goal, you see, um, then I figured, well, what it, you know, once I discharged my number, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, I was successful. I accomplished my goal. I must well go back to the things I was back doing. Back to what you were doing. Right, right. 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 So, right not realizing that that goal was a short-term goal, right. was supposed to be a right. long-life goal, right? right. right? right. And uh, that's part of the education, right. that right. knowledge, right? Right. right? That we didn't have back then. Right. Right. And, uh, you know, I paid for it, right. you know? Well, well, well as, as I stated, when you went to prison, you was a young man. Right. You know, we, in life, we, we go to the changes. You know, we mature. And we get wiser, and we learn from our mistakes, and we move on. We get better. Right. Or if we don't learn from our mistakes, we remain ignorant. Right. You know, I say on oh, stupid. Exactly. Right. So in life, you going into the system, and becoming part of the system, you went into with that. I say my I might say a, a a school of hard knocks college. Right. You went in. You got several degrees right. because you had to survive. Right, so you went into a system where you had to adjust and go from a level four environment down to a level two environment over a period of years. So you had to accomplish a whole lot more than the average person that falls into the revolving door, so to speak, right. in and out, in and out, right? Because that was your home. Yeah, exactly. You that got into a situation where you didn't know whether you were going to ever come home or not. That's right. 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 <laughs> So you had to get educated real fast. I did, or I was going to die in prison. Exactly. I went in prison emotionally immature. Right. But through all the years that I've done, I became tired. Right. right? And then I was able to see hope that lifers were able to get out. Right. I didn't want to live in that same ignorant way, so right. I was looking for uh, a better way. So I know that I had to let go of that ego, mm -hmm. change that attitude, mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. you know, we all go in prison with an attitude, right? right, right? right. That hate system, right? right? And, uh, you know, attend them groups, you know, and do uh, search for a better way, right. you know? Right. And that, uh, you know, through the experience of seeing my friends die in prison, mm -hmm. I didn't want that, right. you know? I knew I had a family out here that depended on me, mm -hmm. You know, and I knew that I had to change a lot, you know, and that was my, the way I, my perspective, mm -hmm. 
you know. So I started uh, searching spiritually, you know, and I converted over to Islam, which made me a better person. Okay. Um, reading the Quran and also reading the Bible. Right. Um, and surrounding myself with healthy associations and relationships. Right, that's right. right. That's right. Searching for that path that the people that were um, wanted to be on the same path that I was. Right, right. So I wanted to make that nexus, that right. connection with them, right. you know. And you chew the meat and spit out the bones, <coughs> so to speak, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to protect ourselves, right. right? So you have to pr protect your belief, your friends, who you invite in, right. you know. Right. When we came to prison, they always chose us mm -hmm. as friends, but now we choose who we want to right. be friends with. Yeah. Right. 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 Have the choice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, make choices today. You know, and it's part of that education. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Now, now going into the system, mm -hmm. where did you start start your time? Um, San Quentin. Okay, that was the reception center when you went in? Exactly. Okay. And then Old Folsom. Okay. And then uh, Salinas and Corcoran, okay. you know. Okay. Um, I've been all over, you know, um, some prisons more than once. Right. 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 Pelican right. Bay. Okay. Opening up Pelican Bay. Right. You know. And, uh, you know, just being a part of that um, false belief system, right, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. Us against them, right, you know? Right, right. And living in that ignorance, yeah, you know? Yeah. And uh, I'm just appreciative <coughs> now that I'm no longer that person. Right. That I'm right. able to share my experience with others. Right. You know, in hopes that they don't make a mistake, you know? And uh, to live a better example, you know. Now, 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 you say you converted to Islam. Yeah. When, when did you convert to Islam? Uh, seven years ago. Okay. On the yeah. month of Ramadan. In the month of Ramadan. Is that right? You took your yeah. in the month of Ramadan. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Right. That's a blessing. Right? During the month of Ramadan. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you, you've been practicing Islam, uh, seven years ago. Took your in the month of Ramadan. Uh, you went in front of the board of prison. How many? How many times? Um, three times I didn't go, right? You, you refused to go three I times? I refused to go three times okay. because I had no hope, okay. and I was part of that ignorance, okay. right? And then three times I did, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I went to prison um, because I murdered a man who raped and beat my sister, mm -hmm. right? Okay. But it was part of that lifestyle that I was living, mm -hmm. selling drugs, you know, thinking that me taking revenge for what happened to her... <coughs> was a, <coughs> a brotherly thing, right? Mm -hmm. Had I been a real good brother, mm -hmm. I would have called 911. Right. I right. would have embraced her, took right. her to a, a medical uh, facility, right. right? A clinic, and got her, sought her help. Right. You know, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, I lived on my personal instant gratification. Right. I wanted right. to satisfy that ego. Right. You know, nobody's going to do this to my sister. Right. right. You know, and uh, had I been a responsible brother, mm -hmm. Right, I would have not invited her to sell drugs. Right. I would have, I wouldn't have brought her into that lifestyle that I was living. Right, right. So you know, I always hear the the story, man. You know, uh, the heroic story and praises that I get from inmates and mm -hmm. people on the streets that, hey, man, had it been my sister, I would have did the right thing. Right. But I have to educate them and right. tell them and share with the man uh, that that one mistake. I created more victims, exactly. and let me ed let me exactly. share with you exactly. what I went through. Exactly. I wasn't there for my growing up of my kids. Right. That I robbed them of that right, right. to have a father. Yeah. I wasn't. I couldn't attend my grandmother's um, funeral, or <coughs> watch my son throw that first baseball. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and that was, uh, you know, making my family come visit me. Standing in them long hours yeah, of yeah, line just yeah, for a visit, yeah. and standing in them and yeah. accepting my phone calls and wasting all their money, yeah. you know what I mean? They had to take away f from what they had to do that right. life that they had to live, right. you know, and that's how you create more victims, not even realizing it, right. you know. Right. Sure, it might sound like a good mm -hmm. thing or what I the heroic thing that I did, mm -hmm. yeah. but actually, you know, it was uh, selfishness, sure. and we're. Basically, yes. selfish man. Well, well, you know, you know, I, I, I always say that some sometimes it takes a, a journey for a person to wake up to certain things, and in education, if you don't know any better, you can't do any better. That's right. With education, exactly. But if you learn, if you're educated to certain things, then you start doing better. 
Right. So you had to go through the period of being educated. Right. Right. Of going through the journey. That's right. right. So now you went to prison and you became educated in something that you would have never gained on in society. Right. You wouldn't have got that because you'd probably live the same lifestyle and probably got killed exactly. along the way. Right. So See, I don't make mistakes in nothing. He exactly, does. he don't. See, so you got sent away from this for a reason. That's right. All right, you didn't get killed in prison. Nope. Right, you survived all what you went through. That's right. And you made it back. That's just like I say, people that we was in the cesspool at one time. Right. The last time we lived, the cesspool brings in all kind of stuff. That's right. Then we got sent to hell. Right. Right, we got sent right into the belly of hell. We went to Pelican Bay. That's right. One of the real worst in prison was in the state of California. Exactly. Then. Right. So we got sent to Pelican Bay. The, the metamorphosis there got sent back down to the prisons right. and went from a level four all the way down to level two. Went in front of the Board of Prison Terms and you convinced them that you were suitable for parole. That's right. The third time. That's right. So when I sat before the commissioners, right, mm -hmm. they asked, you know, um, what is it that um, changed, for you, changed you, you know? And I said, well, I, man bases his belief on something or someone. Mm -hmm. I base my principles on the Quran. Mm -hmm. And in the Quran, Allah say, be truthful in all things, mm -hmm. even if it bears against your own soul right. and the soul of against your family. Right. right. So I stand before you in truth. Mm -hmm. And that's how you submit. Right. The root meaning of Muslim means one who submits to God's right. will. Right. Listen, obey, trust, give in. Right. Right. So I had to no longer do it my way, but I had to do it another way. Mm -hmm. and, and I couldn't do it no other way but Allah's way. Right. And right. I thank God because uh, there was a purpose of me going to prison, right? Had I didn't, I would have probably killed <coughs> my murder. I would have been killed, like you said earlier, mm -hmm. right? And lived in that ignorance, mm -hmm. you know? But uh, within that time, I had to know myself, study myself, ask them important questions, right. the what, when, who, how comes, right? And take them self-help groups, you know, and really learn about myself, mm -hmm. you know? Um, why am I angry, mm -hmm. you know? Why am I acting out, exactly, you know? Exactly, exactly. How can I substitute, right. you know? And uh, it's that willingness, you know, that part of that submission, like I spoke on earlier. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did, and I'm grateful right. here today. Right. 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 Now. The, the 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 commissioner asked you what what changed you, you know, and you you went to detail and, and explained to them, you know, they accepted that. Right. They accepted that, and they found you suitable for parole. They did. <clears throat> they went in front of the governor. The governor didn't want to go. What, what, he, he didn't want to take no further actions. He let you go. That's right. Come home. So when you came home from prison, you come home and you got to go to transition housing. I did. Okay. Where, where, where'd you, where you? What house did you go to? I went to Health Right Three Sixty. Okay. Um, 890. 890 Hayes, okay. right? Okay. And I did three months there, okay. three months on the island, okay. and uh, completed the program, okay. uh, alumni, right? right. And uh, now um, I'm on my own. I work for Park and Rec, right? I, okay. I'm in, living in uh, 111 Taylor right now okay. to stack my money, to save money. Okay. I was once on the street okay. and paying rent in the... In, um, the Potter Hotel, twelve, twelve fifty a month, right? <coughs> and that was uh, you was paying twelve fifty a month. Yeah. In the hotel. Yeah, and I was living from paycheck to paycheck, wow. and it was it was uh, I couldn't break out of that system, you know. It was keeping me trapped. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I had to make a sacrifice, turn myself in for a year, and uh, hopefully, you know, save enough money, right? And uh, I'm looking for a secondary job right now, okay. if okay. possible, right. you know, right. Right. Okay. to make it easy. Okay. Man, hopefully, Allah make it easy for okay. all of us. Right, right. You know? Well, well, you, you, you're continuing to make progress because, you know, I, they got this life is meeting every other, every second Tuesday of the month. Right. And uh, you attend the life is meeting, and you, you, you're dedicated there. You go down there and you give the information, or you listen to the information that they're giving. Right. And you're constantly making progress, right? You know, and I mean, who can ask for no no more than that? Right. You know, you're making progress out here because today, so you have choices that you make. Right. See, months ago you was on the other side of the fence, and they made choices for you. That's right. Right. They had they can they critiqued your your daily routine. You know, if they wanted to have the yard closed today, 
because they got maintenance on the yard, or they said they had maintenance on the yard. You, know, you was confined to a building. Right. You know, if they wanted to have the no program for the day, you was confined to a building. Right. You know, with a bunch of men. You know, now today you're able to go uh, to the park if you want to, so to speak, the yard. Right. You know, you can go down the Safeway, so to speak, the canteen. You know, and you can buy anything you want to buy. That's right. As much as you want to buy, and you can eat it in the store, pay for it in the store, and buy some more, and eat it in the store right. if you wish to do that. Right. So we don't have to have canteen once a month, or open line. That's right. We gotta have that. Yeah, we have that. We have that freedom. And I remember going to the grocery store with my brother-in-law, Manuel, mm -hmm. and uh, we walked into a, a grocery store on his side of town in South City, and uh, I was amazed on the things that they were selling. And so much of it, you know, <laughs> I was uh, a culture shock. It was a culture shock. <laughs> right, you know. And uh, I didn't know how to act. Yeah. At first, I was yeah. lost. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> they had to tell me, David, over here, come with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I stayed close to the basket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, and, yeah. I, and I was like, you know, taking it all in yeah. one moment at a time. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, it's it's really it's, it's really amazing because we like I say today we have choices, man, and and it's nothing nothing better than to be able to choose the things that you want to do in life for yourself. Right. You know, opposed to somebody choosing for you. You right. know, and uh, you went in front of the board. You came home. You you got a job. You're working. You're doing good. And you're looking for another job. Yeah. You know, so if anybody looking at this interview today, you know, if you got a job, call the call the station. I'm too loud. You know, call the station and hire this man. This man looking for another job and the good part about that we want to let people in society know that he's geared to work right you know he come yeah. an hour before and stay two hours after right you and know what I mean exactly. you know you know what I mean yeah. so you geared to work so anybody that's looking at the show right. if you got a business right you know this is a hard-working man call, the, call, call the show yeah you know hire this man you know we, we we need assistance we need to we need to help each other right you know in this life because see life is it's a struggle. Right, it is. There's nothing easy about it, you know. Right. In order to to help and to network, right. this is what we do. We network. That's what right. we're doing. We're networking. Yeah, trading information. Exactly, exactly. You know? So so call the show and, and get this man in, on the job. He's working one already. Right, you parking know? And, rec, and, and, that's right. And, and he's working parking rec, and he needs another job. Yeah. So, you know, if you can, get him on the show, yeah. you know, hire him, you know, and, and allow him to uh, to make your business bloom. You know, yeah. that's what it's about. I'm here to create balance. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, so, so let, let me ask you, what, what is your future goal? What, what do you plan to do? Um, inshallah, God willing, I'm to be successful is to stay out, stay mm -hmm. free, mm -hmm. right? Have that healthy associations and relationships and to surround myself around other lifers and help them and educate the youth. You know, it's very <coughs> important to educate the youth, mm -hmm. you know, because there's a lot of uh, troubled youth out there sure. that are misled mm -hmm. and that are pointed in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. And they need to hear experiences like us coming home mm -hmm. after doing 30 years or so, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. And uh, they look for us to guide them, you know, to point them to a right direction, right. you know. Right. Because sometimes they don't get that from their own fathers. Exactly. Because their own fathers are living a certain lifestyle right. or their mother, right. you know what I mean. And we're, we could be like uh, not only living examples, but big brothers as right. well. Exactly, you know? exactly. That's what you I mean. know, exactly. To establish that trust. Right, yeah. right. Well, we have to be mentors because, because, you know, we took these programs in prison. You know, we took the mentor programs in prison. We took the, the uh, scary straight, so to speak, programs in prison. We did th certain things in prison to help people that were coming in. The youngsters that was coming in going back out. That's right. A lot of them got caught up later on anyway, but we can't. Say that that one bad apple, right? Because for the whole barrel, that's not a true stand, right? <coughs> if you take that bad apple out of the barrel, right, you can save the barrel. Yeah, you, you know? can. So, so we have to help those that are suffering from a disease. That's right. That they don't believe they have. We know they got the disease, so we got to right. help them. Even you with know? that bad apple, you can cut that rotten part out. You can cut it out. Yeah, with education and love. Exactly. That's exactly. right. So that's what we do. We we go in there and we help. That's right. You know, we do the work that other people don't wish to do. Right. You know, we went in, we've seen it happen. Right. Right. We've seen the ugly, the good, the bad, the ugly, That's whatever right. it is, right? We choose to come out and take the ugly out of the good and, 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 and put it to rest, put right. the ugly to rest and allow the good to work. That's right. You know, man. let it bloom, right? Yeah. Because we're in a society now that need help. 
Right. I mean, that's what they need help. We got a new president. Right. You see what I'm saying? We got people in Elvis now that, that mean harm, you know, and we need help. Right. You know, so we got to help each other make this possible for it, for it to work. Right. So we want to we want to we want to we want to thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate you coming on and, and giving your 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 feedback. Right. We want to thank you for coming on and letting society know because we went in their bedrooms. Right. We went in their living rooms. You see, we want to let them know that everybody that goes into prison, they don't go into prison right. one way and stay that way. That's right. Over a long period of time, right. you go into prison and you do, as I say, the metamorphosis, the change. Right. You turn from a butterfly to a cocoon. That's right. The cocoon's a butterfly. That's right. And you flourish. That's right. Right. So we go get educated. We become counselors, we become uh, drug counselors, we become speakers, we become certain things in prison, and then we come home and we become part of this world again. That's right. Right? So you came home. Reestablishing that social contract we once broke with exactly, society. Exactly. Right. You're mending it. You're That's putting right. it back. Alhamdulillah. You see, so when you get finished, like that big old web, yeah. you're going to have a big old web. It's going to be men. It's going to exactly. be all, all the way back together. And now we can make a difference. Make a difference in That's society, right. in our communities. Through our conduct so, and character. Right. Yeah. So when you walk down the street, a lot of people you know, that I talked to over a period of a year and a half, they told me that we can recognize a person that's been in prison for a long period of time. Yeah. I said, oh, really? I said, how's that? I said, they're polite. Right. They're mannerable. Humbled. They're humble. They have control. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, they got it. That's right. Because we got tools now. Exactly. They got, a, right. got tools to work with. That's right. So, 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 uh, and that, that, I was amazed when they said that because right. they, they, can, they can identify a life for coming home from prison opposed to return of, uh, a return of in the, in the revolving door. Over and over and over and over, That's right. they can return. They can, they can see a lifer, yeah. you know. And it's, it's it's a good thing because we back. Right. We back and we ain't going nowhere. Right. And, and it, all it takes, right, is a simple hello. How are you doing? Exactly. Share with you. Share with us your story, exactly. right? Because they always had a uh, a perspective or an outlook on us that, man, they don't deserve to get out. They right. just they they're animals. Right. They're right. you know. But we made mistakes. Right. And now we pay that debt right. to society, right. and now we can, you know, you can see in our conduct and character and our experience the difference that yeah. we make now. Everybody makes mistakes. Some make bigger mistakes than others. Exactly. You know, but yeah. like I said, we made mistakes. We went to a temporary insane. Yeah, we did. But we, we came back. That's Some people right. in society went insane and they never came back. Never right came in back. society. God bless them, you know, man. Yes, God right. bless them. So we want to thank you for coming on the show, man. Really appreciate good. it, man. You know, I'm welcome good. home. You know, yeah. you back. And, uh, I was telling people about the support circle that we have every month. We have a support circle through the uh, Talib Collective Reentry Program out of Fremont, California. I'm an employee for this this, this uh, uh, foundation, and we have it every month here in San Francisco. It's a support circle, and the address is 548 Fillmore Street at seven o'clock on Wednesday, the 22nd. We invite everybody. You don't have to be formally incarcerated. You don't never even have to be close to a prison. But we want you to come out and take part of the support circle and come out and give your input on incarceration, how you feel about formal incarceration, people that's been in, in the system. We want you to come out and give information that you may have, have to offer these people coming over to prison. Maybe a job, maybe a, a good a good hello, a good smile, something that you can give these people and allow them to have a smooth transition back into society and be part of your community. You know, cause like I said, we ain't going nowhere. We're going to be here. But we need help having a transition, smooth transition back into our community. So if you feel like coming out, that's February the 22nd from 7 to 9 o'clock at 548 Fillmore Street. The name of the place is the, the Center SF, the Center SF. So come out and take part of the program. We have dinner to serve. Uh, and we're just going to have a lot of return citizens sit down and just kick it. Just, just, just talk about the things that they need. We got uh, people from the Mandela Foundation out of Oakland. We got people from the Iron Workers Union. We got people that have jobs to offer people coming home from prison. So come on out and take part of it, you know, and, and join us and be part of our crowd for that evening. And we want to thank the brother again for coming out and taking part of the show. Appreciate that. Welcome home, man. Yeah, thank you, you know? for this. Too. Yes, yes, I mean, yes. It's a lot. We're going to bring you back in some months and see how you're doing. Okay, man. Thank okay. you. All right. So with that, we want to thank you, uh, uh, viewers. Uh, stay tuned to uh, Channel 29 on Saturday night at 7 o'clock. 
This Thursday, we'll have a returned citizen that paroled from prison, went to Southern California. He took a proposal and turned it around and started a program called the Isha Foundation. He houses runaway uh, uh, homeless children that's in his program, and he gives them housing. He gives them the things they need to get back on their feet and be part of their society. So this Thursday, we'll have a brother coming in from Southern California, and he'll come in and tell a story on his journey and what his future goals are for this foundation. So stay, stay tuned this Thursday on Channel 76 at 6.30 to 7. On Channel 76 from 6.30 to 7, we'll have call-ins. And uh, stay tuned this Thursday at 6.30. Thank you and have a good evening.